to Shabbat morning at Temple Beth El Israel. We're glad you're here as we sing Hine Matov, how good it is that brothers and sisters dwell together. Hine Matov, Manayim, Shevet Achim, Those of you who wear the talit, remember, we all wear the talit, even if it is emotionally, because the threads on the bottom share with us the remembrance of all of the mitzvot of God. And so we say together, Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotah V'tzivanu Lehit Atev Batzitzit. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to wrap ourselves in the fringes. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, she'asani b'tselem Elohim, who made me in the image of God. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Sha'asani ben Chorin, who has made me free. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Sha'asani Yisrael, who has made me a Jew. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Ozer Yisrael b'gvura, who girds Israel with strength. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, O Ter Yisrael Betif Ara, who crowns Israel with splendor. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvah Tah D'Tzivanu La'asok B'Divrei Torah, who hallows us with mitzvot, commanding us to engage with words of Torah. Elu devarim she'ein lahem shi'ur she'adam ocheo perotehem ba'olam hazeh v'hakeren kayem et lo la'olam haba. These are things that are limitless, of which a person enjoys the fruit of the world, while the principle remains in the world to come. They are honoring one's father and mother, engaging in deeds of compassion arriving early for study morning and evening, dealing graciously with guests, visiting the sick, providing for the wedding couple, accompanying the dead for burial, being devoted in prayer, and making peace among people, but the study of Torah encompasses them all. Ashrei Oshvei Vetecha, Odia Halleluja Selah, Ashrei ha'am shekachalo, Ashrei ha'am she'adonai elohav. Happy are those who dwell in your house, they forever praise you. Happy the people who have it so, happy the people whose God is Adonai. Yitkadah diyitkadash shemei rabah, Be'almah divrach chirutei amlich malchutei, Bechayechon, uvyamechon, 
Ugachayeh Kol Beit Yisrael Ba'agala Ba'agala Uvizman Karib Vimru Amen Yeheish Meira Ba'mevarach Le'olam Ulan Me'olmaya Yit Barach Yit Barach V'yishtabach V'yipa'ar V'yit Ramam V'yit Maaseh V'yit Hadar V'yit Alev V'yit Alal Shemei B'Kudushah B'Rihu Le'elam In Kol B'Rachat Adishirata Tush B'Rachata V'Nechemata Da'amiran Be'alma Vimeru Amen. Blessed, praised, honored, exalted, extolled, glorified, adored, and lauded be the name of the Holy Blessed One. Beyond all earthly words and songs of blessing, praise, and comfort, to which we say, Amen. Baruchu et Adonai. Hamvorach, Baruch Adonai Hamivorach, Le'olam Va'ed. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Yotzer Or Uvarei Choshech, Ose Shalom Uvarei Et HaKol, Hame ir la arts veladarim aleha berachamim. Uf tu vome chadesh bechol yom tamid ma a savere sheet. Mara buma a secha adonai. Kulam bechachma a sita. Mal a ha arts kinyanecha. Git barach adonai lo henu. Al shevach ma a seyadecha. Ve alme ore orsha a sita. Yefa a rucha. Sela. Or Chadash al Tzion Ta'ir, Ben Izkech Chulanu Meherala Oro, Baruch Ata Adonai, Yotzer Hama Orot. Praised are you, Adonai, our God, Sovereign of the Universe, Creator of light and darkness, who makes peace and fashions all things. In mercy you illumine the world and those who live upon it. In your goodness you daily renew creation, in wisdom you formed them all, filling the earth with your creatures. Be praised, Adonai, our God, for the excellent work of your hands and for the lights you created. May they glorify you. Shine a new light upon Zion, that we all may swiftly merit its radiance. Praise are you, Adonai, creator of all heavenly lights. Ahava Rabba Ahavtanu, Adonai Eloheinu, Chemla gidola vitera chamalta alenu, ba'avur avotenu vi imotenu, shabat chubecha, vat lamdem chuke chayim, kein techanenu, ut lamdenu.
Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Elchad. Ha <laughs> Bishif to Chab of Etecha, Uvlech to Chab a Derech, Ushach Becha of Kumecha, Ukshatam le Oat al Yedecha, the Hayulato da Fort Bain Enecha, Uchtav Tam, Amizuzot Betecha, Uvisharecha, Lema Antis Kehu. Vasi tem et comets potai, vi tem kidoshim lelo hechem, ani adonai elo hechem, asher hoce tiet hem, me eretz mitzrayim, lehiot lachem lelo him, ani adonai elo hechem. Adonai said to Moses as follows, Speak to the Israelite people and instruct them to make for themselves fringes on the corners of their garments throughout the ages. Let them attach a cord of blue to the fringe at each corner. That shall be your fringe. Look at it and recall all the commandments of Adonai and observe them, so that you do not follow your heart and eyes in your urges. Oh, shit. 
You are forever mighty, Adonai, you give life to all. You sustain life through love, giving life to all through great compassion, supporting the fallen, healing the sick, freeing the captive, keeping faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, source of mighty acts? Who resembles you, a sovereign who takes and gives life, causing deliverance to spring up and faithfully giving life to all? Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives life to all. Let us sanctify your name on earth as it is sanctified in the heavens above. As it is written by your prophet, Holy, holy, holy is Adonai Tzvaot. God's presence fills the whole earth. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzvaot. Milochol haaretz kivodo. Adir adirenu adonai renenu adir shimcha bechol haaretz baruch kivod adonai mim komo echad welo heinu avinu malkeinu moshiyeinu 
Tehu yashmi enu berachamav leene kol echai Ani Adonai Eloheichem Yim lo Adonai leolam Eloheich tiyon Lidor vador Alleluia Lidor vador Lidor vador Door by door, Nagi Gavacha. The door by door, the door by door, the door by door, Nagi Gavacha. Ule ne chakhe chakhim, kiru shakhe chan akdish, kiru shakhe chan akdish. The shir chakha eloinu mi pino yamush. The door by door, 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 silently with the Shimona Esrei and meet together at Sim Shalom.
take a moment as we think of those in need of healing, be it physical, spiritual, or emotional. We are all in need of one of those. And so while we sing to those whose names we utter, let us also sing to ourselves as community. Son, may this be God's will. We continue at our new virtual synagogue home in just a second. And here we are in our home away from home, our shul away from shul. We're still digging to figure out exactly where we are holding this portion of our service, but if you take a look, you can see it's a beautiful bima with social, social distancing going on on all sides, and we can safely continue our service. This is a very unique week and weekend, and therefore, I'll be talking about something a little bit different. Uh, Tu Bishvat occurred this weekend uh, this week, the, the birthday, the holiday of the trees, the 15th of Shabbat, where we really recognize the coordinating of God between humanity and the plant life and the animal life, the, the collusion of everything of, of God's creation. And it, it points out to us the real connective and responsibility that we have an obligation to take care of our animal world and in fact our plant life because without them we don't exist. And so there is this connective that becomes important. And while that is an incredibly important thing to talk about, there is something bigger. Just Two days ago on Wednesday, we celebrated, if you could call it a celebration, the 76th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camps, a landmark moment in human history and in Jewish history. Some of you know that a few of us from Temple Beth El Israel went on a journey to visit concentration camps and Holocaust sites a year and a half ago. 
And we went to a number of, of camps, and we went to the Warsaw Ghetto, and we went to the site of the Nuremberg Trials, but we visited a number of concentration camps, not the least of which were the sister camps of Auschwitz and Birkenau. Being as this is the anniversary of that liberation, I thought it would be time for us as a congregation, as a community, to go on a journey and visit the dark place of our planet. And so, as we remember those who lived and died for no other crime than being a Jew or a gypsy or gay or a lesbian, let us go back and look at where their lives and ours took a turn. We begin our journey on the tracks to Birkenau. Here we are, literally standing on the tracks to Birkenau, the sister camp. The two camps were about two or so miles apart. These railroad tracks are amongst the most infamous railroad tracks in the entire world for no good reason. Once people pass through those archways, the vast, vast majority were never to come back. Once you go inside that arch, there's a couple of stories that you can walk up, which is a guard's vantage point. And if you walk up and look to the left, this is, this is the view of Birkenau concentration camp. And you can see the buildings in the back. Those are all barracks where people existed for short periods of time. The rectangle in the front is the outline of another barracks building they used to be there and no longer exists. There were several hundred of these buildings at Birkenau. From that same guardhouse, this is the view straight ahead. You see the other side of the railroad tracks and you see them come and they split just about 50 yards up and in the middle you see that tan space, the train platform, the disgrace to humanity where our ancestors departed from the trains and were separated into two groups, women and children and feeble men, physically or by old age and they were almost immediately walked to their death in the buildings across to the left. The other men who could still work were taken in a different direction, but not for long. If you notice, there's only one set of tracks. These tracks only went into the camp they didn't come back out. The tracks wove a line as far as your eye can see and then took a right and went outside of the camp back into the countryside to collect more fodder for camps and buildings of gas and fire. This is a picture of a page, just a bit of a page. On this page is typed the name of every person who died in the camp whose name could be derived from any source. 
The sources were all Nazis for those who say it didn't happen. But on this particular page, of which there were several thousand, these pages were approximately two feet by four feet, and there were thousands of pages all hanging from a frame that allowed all of these pages to hang and be seen. On it are 45 names that all are very similar to the name Zarwinitzer. That was my mother's maiden name. That was my grandfather who I never met. That was his name. On this page are at least 45 names, some of which from looking at the cities that they list are a family that I never knew. But that's only 45 out of tens of thousands of names in a book suspended in the middle of a room at Birkenau concentration camp. We made it to the Warsaw Ghetto. A ghetto is a walled-in part of a community. And uh, if you can see on the wall behind me, there's a part of a, of a map. And inside of that is a black line that goes curved and straight. And that's the outline of the walls around the Warsaw Ghetto. What's left is the space behind me in about another 10 or 15 feet over by the side where the sign is. It's in the middle of a courtyard where there are apartment buildings, where people who live in those apartment buildings every day walk by this little space because it's the only way to get past it to the entrance to the buildings in which their apartments are found. Apartments that used to hold Jews. Far too many Jews and far too few spaces. But it's interesting that after you kill everybody who lives in those spaces, there's space for more people. And that's what happened. Most of the Warsaw Ghetto was destroyed. And I did a memorial service with those members of the congregation and students in Treasure Coast High School who stood in the middle of a place that no longer exists by a wall that is only a remnant. And we did a memorial service, and I tell you, as we stood there, some of us became shaken and looked at each other and asked if we felt what we thought we felt. And some of us couldn't speak about it, so they lied for a few minutes for a day and said, no, I didn't feel anything. And then eventually they said, I thought it was just me who felt that shaking under my feet. And I looked at them and I said, I don't believe you were by yourself, nor do I believe that it was an image of creation. I don't necessarily believe in superstition or ghosts or any such things as Stephen King novels. But I was there, and I felt it too. There was a rumbling, a movement under my feet. There was the souls of those we were there to honor at the Warsaw Ghetto. 
saying thank you for remembering us. And to my final breath, I will tell you what those in our group and I felt was true and it was real. With that feeling, we continued our journey. Now you can see even more of the wall. And that was where we stood as I led a service and memorial prayers and where we felt our feet and bodies be moved. This is a ribbon of concrete that surrounds where the wall used to be. Because as we know, during the war, the Warsaw Ghetto Wall was almost 100% destroyed. And yet, there was a need to remember. And so, this ribbon, it says Warsaw Ghetto Wall, 1943 surrounds the entire space where the wall used to be. And you find yourself walking through it and over it and on it and crossing over and back in an act of defiance but in an act of freedom to say even with the wall we can cross in and out. And even when the Nazis blasted it down still stood for a truth that will never be forgotten. Dachau concentration camp has three chapels next to each other. One for the Roman Catholic Church, one for the Protestant movement, and one for the Jews. A very dear friend the cantorial soloist and I stood inside all of the places we visited, but this was the darkest. This was Dachau. This was the service where I as a human being lost the ability to breathe and for a moment lost the ability to speak because every word was on behalf of hundreds of thousands who died within a stone's throw of this place. One of the gates at Dachau, you might have recognized the phrase Arbeit macht frei. This is not the gate that is most famous for having it, but all of the gates at Dachau had it. Arbeit macht frei. Work will make you free. That was the biggest lie. Work will not make you free at Dachau. Death made you free. Work just brought you closer to freedom. Our bite macht free. When we got to Prague, we visited the old cemetery the old Jewish cemetery, if you look, it's not quite as organized as most cemeteries. That's because this cemetery has been in use for almost 600 years. And in fact, the bodies are laid out five deep 
as generation after generation finds places in there in the limited spaces. And you can see there's no lines, there's no organized structure. This is just a snapshot of a spot that is quite wide and quite mind-numbing that in over five or six hundred years this is how Jews buried each other in Prague to make room. Most of the names have been scrubbed off by centuries of wind and rain and fire. In the last week, as we celebrate the 76th liberation, the Secretary General of the UN, Antonio Guterres, urged coordinated global action on Monday this past to build an alliance against the growth and spread of neo-Nazism and white supremacy and the resurgence of xenophobia, anti-Semitism, and hate speech par sparked partly by the COVID-19 pandemic. The UN chief also urged international action to fight propaganda and disinformation, and he called for stepped-up education on Nazi actions during World War II, stressing that almost two-thirds of young Americans do not know that six million Jews were killed during the Holocaust. Almost two thirds of young Americans do not even know that the history that we carry in our souls and in our spirits and in our hearts and our minds, two thirds of Americans don't even know the pain and the hurt that we carry, that we can't even go back to that book I showed you and read the names of six million Jews killed during the Holocaust. Most of them are not deniers. They just don't know. My heart and my spirit are broken in ways that I cannot elucidate for you because I can't translate what I am feeling into what I would say. But this statement does not go back to 1943 or 44 or 45 or 46. It doesn't go back to the Six Day War, any of the wars that Israel fought against persecution. It doesn't have anything to do with the history that we carry with us, that we swear matters. The only statement that matters right now is that 66 percent of young Americans in today's America do not know that six million Jews were killed. What we do know is that six million is a lie. There were far more than six million and we do know that every week when we recite Kaddish for one and a half million children under the age of 12, that that's also a lie. We know that there was more. And those numbers don't even count the 97% of all gypsies in Europe who were killed, the gays, the lesbians. We don't even talk about the massive number of millions of Russians killed during this war. 
how do we come to understand? But the next step from Secretary General Guterres reminding the world of what they don't know is that they're reminding us of what they don't know. And those who think that we do not have to continue to watch out for ourselves are living in a fantasy equal to those who say the Holocaust never happened. We cannot ever deny that as Jews we must always be vigilant. How many of the names in that book said that's a crazy thought, they'd never come after us like that. How many good people said that's just an insane idea. How many Germans said, I don't know what you're talking about in World War II, and to an extent didn't because Hitler took all of the concentrations and death camps and put them someplace else other than in Germany. They weren't in Germany. They were in Poland. They were in Czechoslovakia. And so some number of Germans said, what are you talking about? It was part of the Nazi ideology. It was part of Hitler's ideology to allow the German public not to know to a certain extent how many were dying, how many were being killed because they said you're just making it up, nothing's happened yet. When it comes to us securing our synagogue and our community, no there are no direct threats yet. But for us to not be completely protected allows us to be open to the mistakes of the past, not just the Nazi actions. I ask you deeply, let us stand strong and say we will not go anywhere, we will not be bullied, and if it costs us a few dollars each to keep security so that bad actors with bad thoughts know that it's not going to be a pushover if you show up here. We've done the right thing and we've honored those who died in just the camps that you saw. We haven't even talked about all the camps that you didn't. Let us not be kowtowed, let us not be bullied, let us not be pushed aside, let us stand proudly in our building by way of saying we are here and we will be here. But let's also not be ignorant of realities. Help us to protect ourselves as we this Temple community, Temple Beth El Israel in Port St. Lucie, Florida, will thrive and continue to exist in the face and the cauldron of hate and division. When we continue in just a moment with the Aleinu through the Kaddish prayer, recognize that that Aleinu and that Kaddish is for all of those whose names we do not remember. All of those whose names are on those thousands of pages of which I only showed you part of one. And let us stand up strong to say we are here. And your Nazi plan failed because we are still here. And we will ring loud and clear, we are here and we will be here. May this not just be God's prayer for us. May it be ours as well. Amen. We continue with the Aleinu. Aleinu l'shabeach l'adon ha'kol Latit kidu laliot se breshit, Shalos anukigoye ha aratsot, 
Elo sam hanu kemish bechota adama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vikor aleinu kechol amonam. Ba'anachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim, lepne melech malche amlachim, hakadosh baruchu. Shehuno te shemayim v'yoset aretz, umoshav yekado ba shemayim mima'al, ushchina duzo, ushchina duzo, v'gobe mirumim, hu Eloheinu ein od, emet malkeinu ephesulato, Kakatu fitorato, the yada tayum, the yada tayum, bashevota, eliva becha, ki adonai, uha elohim, bashamayim, mima al, the alharet, the alharet, me taha ein ode. Ein od, v'ne emar v'haya Adonai l'melech al kol haaretz b'yom ha'hu b'yom ha'hu yihya Adonai echad u'shemo 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 Thus it has been said, Adonai will be sovereign over all the earth. On that day, Adonai will be one and God's name will be one. We pause now for a moment as we look over this list of the names of peoples whose yard sites occurred this week. Particularly this week, we also remember those taken by the hand of the oppressor and the names of children whose names we don't know, but over a million and a half children taken at the hand of the oppressor for whom we are left to recite Kaddish for them. Yet Gadal Viet Kadash Shemiraba, the Almati Brachiru Tevi am Lichmal Hute, Bechayechon of Yomechon, Uvechaye de Hall Bait Yisrael, Ba Agala, Uvisman Kari Vimuru, Amen. Yehesh me Rabba me Barach, the Olam Ual Mel Maya. Yet Barach Vies Tabach, Viet Baar Viet Ramam Viet Nase. Viet hadar viet halev viet halal shmei dikutsha brichu le elam in kol bir chatav shirata tush bechatav nechemata da amiran da almavi meru omein yehi shalom a rabba min shemaya vechayim alenu ve'al kol yisrael vi meru omein ose shalom bi meramav hu ya ose shalom. Alenu ve'al kol Yisrael v'meru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel. To which we say, Amen. A particular blessing. us, for those of us who are here 
year after the Holocaust. By these eyes that have seen the one disgrace of days too awful to forgive, I have taken this oath to remember every place, every drop of blood, for as long as I live, till the tenth generation, till the Oh, oh.
bless us. May God bless this house where our Judaism lives and our heart resides. Shabbat Shalom. May we make the world a better place. Amen.